Seven News is following the latest in the flu outbreak. The flu is responsible for killing two more children in Colorado. The total now, four children have died from flu. New numbers from the state health department also show another 100 people hospitalized with the flu. The state total for the season is 674, which is an unusually high number for Colorado. So many of us are reaching for bacterial wipes and those gel hand san sanitizers these days in the hopes of actually killing flu germs. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart tests which is best, hand washing or the sanitizer. 674 cases of the flu in Colorado. Four children across the state have died. We don't know where that number is going to go, but it's definitely going to be an above average year. That's why, along with washing your hands, hand sanitizers are the go to product to stay flu free, prompting us to ask the scientist at CU Hospital to separate fact from fiction. Perfect. Using a glow in the dark cream to simulate germs, we looked at this woman's hands before they were washed. And then after the recommended 15 second wash with soap and water, you can see most of the germ residue has been removed. What about hand sanitizers? These are the germs that grew before and then after using hand gel. Hand sanitizer or hand washing? They both are very effective as far as killing germs. Um, alcohol has actually been shown to be a little bit better in terms of killing germs off your hands. If your hands are dirty or soiled, you really want to use soap and water because the alcohol can't get rid of all the debris. Bottom line, do what's convenient. If you don't do it at all, you're not accomplishing anything. Mark Stewart, 7 News. Doctors say that to make sure to use sanitizer with alcohol content of at least 60%, 60% on the sanitizer, which they say is the most effective. A five-month-old is on a breathing machine at Rocky Mountain Hospital for children after contracting a rare disease called infant botulism. The little girl's mother will in the next hour be talking in hopes of educating other parents. Some of the symptoms include slow breathing, constipation, loss of head control, being tired all the time, and a weak cry. The baby's mother says she first noticed the symptoms on New Year's Day, and the next day that little girl was in intensive care where she remains to this day. A day before turning 27, actor Frankie Muniz suffered a mini stroke. He talks about the experience today on The Katie Show. Went to take a ride on my motorcycle, got on the bike, and about a mile from my house, I thought there was something on my visor because I kept seeing something like out of my right eye and kept wiping my visor and realized like my vision was starting to be just odd. About 20 minutes later, I lost all vision in my right eye. My whole right side of my body was completely numb. I was dizzy and That's confused. That's so scary. Frightening. Katie also will be talking with Brooke Burke about her thyroid cancer and with Randy Jackson about his diabetes. That's today at 3 on Denver 7. And then at 4 o'clock, Charlie Sheen sits down with Dr. Oz. The drugs, the sex, the arrests, and the fallout.